One of the commonly asked questions I get is how you can use events and which events you should be adding to your page. So we've got the event handlers, which are indicated as a property value to the element object. And we've also got the event listeners that are going to be assigned to the element object. So the element handlers are assigned as properties to the on click event are overwritten. If you assign a new one, then we're only going to get the result of the second one. We're not going to get the result of the first one, as we can see within the output of the console. Whereas the event listeners are assigned to the element object and they allow you to have more control over that particular event. So you can assign multiple click events. So if you are looking to have multiple event listeners on the page element, then go with the event listeners. If you simply want to have just a simple interaction on a page element within the event handler. So when in doubt, you use the event listeners over the event handlers, as you do have more flexibility with the event listeners. Go ahead and select the H2 element from the page. We'll just assign it to a variable H2 using query selector, selecting the H2 element. And now we're going to add an event handler to it. And we saw that we could add it using the on click and then assign a function to that event to occur. So within here, we're going to output the console and we'll write click one value into the console. So now whenever we click it, we've added the event handler. So what happens if we add a second event to that same element? And in this case, we're going to write the console log of click two. So now when we click it, we only get the value of click two. We don't get click one because this is a property that's been overwritten. And now we've got a new function that's going to handle the event. So adding in the a second event handler is going to essentially overwrite the first one. So there is a solution to this. If you want to add multiple event and event listeners to a page element, you can do that using the add event listener. So once again, we've selected the page element. So using the H2 and add event listener. And then we need to specify the event that we're listening for. So in this case, we're going to be listening for a click and the same as we did with the event handler, where we're going to be adding in an anonymous function. And within this function, we're going to simply output within the console click number three. So let's go back into the code. We'll click the page element. And now we see we've got click two and click three being output into the console. So adding the event listener, and I'm going to add uh, another event listener to that. And now when I click it, I get click two, click three, and click four. So with the add event listener, we're able to keep multiple events on the same element. And we can also remove events from that element. So using the add event listener gives us more control over the element as opposed to what we're doing with the click event. So there's a number of different options and parameters that we can add into this event. So if you do plan on having multiple events listening for the same event on the element, then use the event listener. If you just have the one event that you're looking to add to the page element, as a property, you can then use that as the event handler. So the add event listener is going to assign the event to the element object, whereas the handler, that's the property value which can get overwritten. So that's the difference between the two.